Point on the line. We're joined by Kulu Pasiwe, ESCOM spokesperson, for more on ESCOM having received a four billion rand loan from KFW to upgrade its grid with regard to renewable energy sources. Kulu, good to have you with us on the line today. Uh, I'd like you to uh, give us more perspective on the relationship here that's been forged between ESCOM and KFW, which is a German-based uh, development bank. Uh, does this stem from uh, uh, a significant relationship in the past? Indeed, uh, this uh, stems from our existing relationship, but they have assisted us before. And uh, um, obviously right now, because of the guarantees that we do have with the government, government has given us uh, guarantees worth over 350 billion rand, and this, I think, was in 2012 already. So it was against that backdrop that uh, they, they agreed to assist us with this 4 billion rand uh, um, loan. Despite having the government guarantee in place, Kulu, surely this loan must come at an expensive rate, especially given the re-rating we saw uh, from Fitch on ESCOM. Well, despite the, the current rating that we have received, uh, believe it or not, we, we got this uh, at, a, at, a, at a rate which is uh, uh, much lower than what we had anticipated. So, uh, and I suppose this is because of the relationship that we have. I'm not in a position to tell you how much uh, uh, this rate is, but I can tell you that uh, it is uh, a rate which is uh, beneficial for both parties. We certainly hope so, especially given the crisis that South Africa is experiencing. But uh, tell us more about the intention of these funds. Four billion rand, and I understand you'll be driving this towards solar as well as uh, uh, wind power plants in South Africa. 100%. The condition for this grant is that uh, it's going to be used for exclusively for those projects, which is solar and, uh, and uh, uh, wind projects. Firstly, as you know, we have a number of independent power producers that are coming online in, in, in South Africa, and this process is driven by the Department of Energy. We are funding those uh, companies or projects as soon as they are ready, and uh, the focus is that we have to do this uh, only for, for, the, for the, the renewable energy project, which is where the money will, will be spent. And um, just to also give you a context, this is a, um, a $4 billion loan, which will be repayable in, in 15 years' time. But uh, because of the good relationship that we have with uh, KFW, we have uh, some kind of a, a holiday period of thought where we have a five-year um, period where we will not be repaying the loan. So in other words, once these projects are, are, are incorporated or start uh, producing uh, electricity and we also get the money out of it, then it's only then that we will be paying back the money. Mm -hmm. So we'll pay after five years in other words. Kulu, maybe if you could give us more perspective on these projects. Uh, what's the turnaround time and how soon will the solar as well as the wind power plants that you alluded to actually be connected to the grid? Well, uh, this will be determined by, by the pace at which they implement their projects. From our side, as soon as they are ready, so they basically they have to get all the clearances from the Department of Energy. And once they have they started and completed their pro uh, processes in terms of uh, building their projects, then we will uh, facilitate the, the installation of a network to, to the uh, site so that we can connect them to the grid. And that money will be used for those specific purposes. So from our side, as soon as uh, the, the, the projects are ready for, 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 for implementation, as soon as ready to be connected to the grid, then we will do so. Just to close off with Kulu, uh, I'm sure you are one of the uh, Gauteng citizens who's felt the uh, winter chills keep creeping through. Uh, what does this mean for load shedding prospects uh, moving forward? Is there still significantly high demand? Well, unfortunately, yes. The risk of load shedding still remains with us. It is uh, um, high for today and the rest of the week. So that, that's why we're urging customers to also assist us in terms of reducing the load where possible. And, and as you correctly mentioned, some people, um, because uh, the, the sun is not out there, somehow they, they still use give up a heater, sorry. And we're saying uh, it, it is not that cold, uh, but if you really have to use a, 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 a heater, we're urging that at least you make a trade-off by maybe switching off a giver so that we can reduce the strain on the power system. But yes, the risk of load shedding remains with us for the next few uh, months, in fact, for the next few years, between now and 2017. That's a long time, and we certainly hope that progress is made. Kulu, thank you so much for your time today.